boys, disappointing today again. Oli makes three changes, uh, five changes in total, but you know, the front three wasn't the same as what we thought. Tessa, I'll start with you. Um, why do you think we didn't get the result today, man? That midfield again, McFred, it's McDead. That is honestly awful. Fred, Fred is just not good enough. As he said, Oli out, Oli out, I'm, I'm Oli out. Like, Fred is not good enough. Why are we not choosing Van der Beek, Champions League semi finalist here, and we're choosing a guy that we brought from Shaxa? It just makes no sense to me. And McTominay, he's, the, he's overrated. I'm sorry, but he's overrated. He's rushed him back from the injury. He's got, he's got, he can be eased in. Like, and he doesn't know, he's just, he's just very agitating. Like, he needs to, he needs to sort out that midfield. That midfield's a key area. Play Pogba and Donny. Don't always play McFred, 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 because we both know they're just an accident waiting to happen. And you could see on the, um, the goal we conceded. Mm. Even though Fred played, he was better than McTominay without a shadow of a doubt, but even though Fred, uh, he was at fault for the goal. He was at fault for the goal. He, he got bounced by Damari Gray. Like, you cannot be that weak. You have to be stronger, and yep. it's just disappointing today. And what's the point of just taking? We don't. We, we might as well not have corners, you know, because we never score from corners. We never score from corners. Mm. Uh, it, it was. I mean, we never score from corners, like Tess said, and we conceded from our own corner today. And Oli spoke about the counter attack many times, and it's something that keeps hurting us. Yeah, we're definitely getting exploited on the counter attack. I think Wan Bissaka, you can see he's good at one on one and tackling, but he's on his own in his own half. We've got all our players at the pitch, but only one sacker. And he got caught out of position loads of times today. I feel like we were solid when we had four at the back and we were all in the line, but it was a counter-attacking again. And on the attack, we didn't play too bad. I thought we were sharp from the start today, but it was definitely our positioning. Some players should, um, were in different positions where they should be. And one sacker on his own, he, can't, he was getting exploited by Damari Gray, and I don't think he can do it all on his own. He needs some support. Um, I'll come to you in a second. Uh, we started okay, 1-0 up, you know, he gives Martial the start, it raised a lot of eyebrows and we were like, oh, didn't see that coming. Martial gets his goal, Oli made the subs early today as well. Maybe Martial had a niggle, but Ronaldo comes on early, but we just couldn't go and kill the game. We couldn't kill it. Obviously, he started with the team that he thought he should start with. I do not care who Oli goes out with. If he goes out with his best players, I'm happy. If he goes out with not his best players I and mean, we still get the three points. I don't, I, don't, I don't care. As long as he gets the three points, I do not mind. But today, he didn't get the three points. He dropped two points today. And it's just the same thing again. Villa, West Ham. We just keep doing these things. And I heard everybody saying, Ollie out, Ollie out. I like to be positive. I like United. I love United. And I want to be positive all the time. But that's not the United way. That, that, that performance today, we played well sometimes when we had the ball. But when we got the ball, we need to create and we need to fraud, do stuff. Fraud, fraud. We need to do things with the ball because if we, if he was a fraud, that guy. <laughs> bless him, boys. Bless him. <laughs> because if you don't have the ball, you can't score goals. You need to shoot to score. Every time we got a corner, I thought, oh, can we score from this? Mm, I'm not sure, but short corners. You need to get the ball in the box. You got Maguire. We, well, no, we don't have him today, but we do have height in the team. And just get the ball in the air on somebody's head. You don't have to always go high and go low as well. But just just get the ball in the back of the net. Uh, well, actually, no, I was going to come to you when I yeah. We, we looked strong yeah. and we're 1-0 up, yeah. but Pickford still didn't have that many, many chances to save. It's almost like we can't create chances on a, on a consistent basis. We struggle with that. Yeah, you know, um, frustrating uh, draw, but like, it's just Fred, uh, McTominay, it's just like we're losing the ball. When we're on the counter attack, we lose the ball. Sancho, we play off uh, left wing and we just lose the ball. And then that's why we can't create chances. We lose the ball too much. And yeah. it's just, it's a, recur a recurring yeah, um, yeah, yeah. thing that happens. And it's just like really frustrating for the United fans. So it's lose the ball and yeah, we just can't create enough chances. Is that something that we can change? Like I feel like we say after every single game, but it's like we relied on the individual brilliance against Villarreal and it worked last minute. And today it was like we were just waiting for a spark rather than we know we're going to be able to play consistently on the front foot. Is it something that Oli can change? Because we say this after every game, even when we win, we still say, ask this question. Yeah, when Oli came in, he had, a, he had a clear way of playing football, attacking football. He brung the, he brung the attacking football back. And now, no recently, creativity. yeah, like he says, where's the creativity? Fred's when got we, a goal. Yeah, Fred's he has. Goal. You, have to have, you have to have creative Matic. midfielders. He Matic, that Matic today, though, class, friend. Matic every Villarreal. Matic changed that game when he came on. Yeah. Ma so Matic. why is he not playing? I don't understand. Matic. Why is Matic not on for Fred? I Matic. don't get it. Matic plays the ball forwards, and we need creative midfielders. I'm telling you now, Flex. McTominay and Fred in the midfield. They're I not playing me. anything. They're 100%. flat. They're flat. And when and when things like this happen, people you know talk about the manager. 
It happened after West Ham, it happened yeah. after Villa. How do you see Solskjaer in terms of being able to change this, this type of dynamic? Uh, for me, he's just got to stop picking McFred. Like, literally, everybody's calling for it. His former teammates are saying, stop picking McFred, stop picking McFred. We've got. Listen, agree, mm. listen to this guy saying mm. Matic, Matic. A 33 year old Matic is better than McTominay and Fred. McTominay and Fred are just C Tech Fellaini's. Like, they're not good enough. They're just passion merchants. And we just want, we want to pass the ball forward. They're not passing the ball backwards. Mm. We want Matic to start. Matic and Pogba or Matic and Donny is better than McTominay and Fred. It's one of the worst midfield pivots we've had at United. Mm. Yeah, it's yeah. honestly one of the worst. On, on what you were saying there about Matic, do you think that. Why do you think Oli pers persists so much with McTominay and Fred? He, he said about energy yeah. and desire. To be honest, I don't know. I, I, he must see something in Fred. I don't know what he sees, to be honest. But obviously, going forward, Fred's not that bad. He finds the right passes. But I think, obviously, he's got it. My, in my opinion, I think McTominay's a world-class player. I think he's absolutely class. But he's got to be Mat Matic and McTominay, to be honest. Yeah. Because Matic is that, he, he, when he came on against Villarreal, he changed the game. Yeah. And obviously, everyone who's in the stadium and obviously watching it on TV, you've obviously got to see that Matic changed that game. Yeah. And, and I think McTominay, but Tomine wins the ball. He wins the ball class. But I just think Fred, he's got that attacking mentality to go forward. But going back, he just, he just. Yeah, I, don't I, rate I, him at I all. respect what you're saying there. 100%. But McTominay, he's, he's had an injury. He's, he's easing him back in, but he's too quickly for me. He needs to take his time. Yeah, he's true. back in. But Matic and McTominay, for me, I'm just not disrespecting your opinion, but it's not as creative enough for me. Yeah. I feel like at times we saw McTominay going forward, scoring goals, but we also saw him passing it sideways and backwards. Yeah, so yeah. Matic and McTominay in the midfield. To be fair, I don't think he should be playing Pogba out wide either. To be honest, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Rashford's going to be back soon. You know. Yeah. Yeah, then. But it's got to be Pogba in the middle. Pogba 100% in the middle. Yeah. But then obviously, like I said, like McTominay and, and um, Matic, it's whatever. It's not like but, he not have midfielders. Yeah, yeah, he has midfielders. Saying, he's got Donny, well, Matic, Fred, I think Matic personally, Matic has to be in that team. At some time, like, in, that, in that midfield, he needs to be in there. The thing with Solskjaer is, the thing with Solskjaer is, he's, he's lucky he has a talented squad like Man United. Because how about if you put him with a Burnley, if you put him with a... Tottenham, do you think he'd be doing really nah, well? He'd be, he'd be sacked. No. He'd be sacked a long time ago. And that's why I'm Oli out. And for me, we've got four managers on the table. We've got Ten Hag, we've got Enrique, we've got Zidane and Conte. 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 All of us all of us want Conte. Conte is or Zidane. And we need to get one of them now. Because right now, if we want to get the Premier League, we, we want to get the Champions League, we want Conte. The pressure's not Conte. Thanks for talking to us, bro. Nice one.